Minions have spawned. How's it going everyone? Welcome to the next League of Legends video. We're playing some more Soraka support and we actually just managed to get the Akshan's Flash uh, on the enemy team. We did trade our Urgot's Flash and we managed to also get 60 gold as we went and ambushed him in this bush over here uh, before we started. Uh, before we get into lane, let's take a look at our runes. We're going to be running a Guardian page again as they have a pretty aggressive team. We have Guardian, Font of Life, Second Wind, Revitalize, Mana Flow, and Transcendence. Gonna go for the Keep Ash Alive, Be Amazing at Healing, uh, Moonstone build. As we're gonna try and play front to back. We have Urgot, Zac, and Lee Sin on our team. And they've got two Assassins, Echo and Akshan. I call Akshan an Assassin because of his invisibility. They also have a pretty good backline as well. Which I don't know why you're even thinking of trading with me right now. Tarek, you can do a stun and that's it. You don't have any more follow-up after that. I was going to keep poking him. I do have his spell thieves, so poke is required. You can do all this poke that you want. It's not going to make a difference to me. We use all of our wards, so we have to be more careful. Because we don't need Echo ganking us level 3. But I'm probably going to be playing to deter. I should be uh, throwing a Q as she walks up for the minion. To deter the Tarek and the Jinx from freezing the wave. Needing to shove in and reset. Interesting step up there. Once again, I don't mind taking damage. But I have potions and I have my Q to heal me. As long as I'm back here and not getting CC'd. Not a problem at all. Tark is back there. Yep, we just saw him from my Q vision. Just throw another one. We're already at 237 gold as well. Yeah, she doesn't want to step up here. We don't really have a freeze going, but we definitely have it where it's on our side of the map and they don't want to step up any closer. It's going to slow push to them. We got to be careful. I do have a ward in 23 seconds. I've been having a lot of difficulty playing League the last couple days, so the um, this ELO is currently Emerald 3. I'm hoping that we'll be able to pick it up over time, but um, the games not have not been pleasant at all. I'll be, I'll be working slowly to get it back up, but not as grindy as before. And that's why you're also seeing less videos these days because the games just not have been fun. I might even just start end up making draft games uh, just for videos as well. So feel free to throw any comments or requests about what you guys want to see in the future. Um, I'm planning on doing a Morgana video, maybe a Lulu video as well. So keep an eye out for those guys. Looks like there is a gank topside with Echo. Just gonna get another mana flow proc here. Ash is back to full HP. We'll block Tarek's pass so he can keep taking auto attack damage. Very nice. That was a really bad trade for you, Tarek. If you don't land the E, at least make it so that it's hard for them to go back because you're still doing the same effect. Blocking their path and not doing the E is still not getting the second E damage off is just as fine as rooting them because your ADC will still be able to deal damage, right? So don't be shy in placing it behind them in their escape path or having to make it harder for them to run away. gonna stand up here and try and get some poke off gonna get a heal all right so we did get the big heal off before that's uh, ghost from both ADCs they're gonna queue at the Tarek didn't need to flash that, but still a good job. I'll go throw a ward in the tri-bush. 
The only way that he could come with vision, without vision, on him is through the bush in the river, in which we just threw an Ash E in the direction. Never waste a breath. We got a second point in W now. Has been slain. We have Zaken coming. We'll keep Zack moving fast. Oh, I got an auto. Okay. Good work to us. And now we already have our stage one completed for our Spelties. We can probably keep pushing this. Just hit the melees. I think I have enough mana for another one. It doesn't even matter who's taking the minions at this rate. It's just a matter of who's going to, like, if we can get this under tower as soon as possible. Making it harder for Jinx to CS. Denying some experience. We're going to grab Boots and a Band of Glass Mirror along with the ward. And start walking down as soon as possible. We do have a mark over our head for Akshan to get bonus gold if he kills us. So we're going to be careful. Looks like the game is fairly even, excepting for topside. Um, in terms of CS. Actually, Zack is more Gracefully. CS for um, the jungle. Jinx and Ash are pretty even, excepting that each of us have a kill. Ooh. Can we go and disrupt this? No. Tarek has 432 out of 500 on wards, on his ward quest. Can we kill here? <sighs> yeah, it should be a kill. We just got flash. Not bad. Really good double kill here for Ash. I'm glad I'm having a game that's starting out well. Like this. Respecting our ranges. Respecting our slows. And respecting their crowd control. I've been having difficulty synergizing with ADCs lately. And then it kind of just snowballs from there because it's two people out of five that need to work together. I want to see if we can bait while I'm TPing. I'm just going to back fully. We're closer to our Moonstone. I don't need that next control ward. Ash should be able to hold the wave here. Because they're not going to dive her, right? They don't have. They do have a level 6 on Tarek, so we do need to be careful. I do understand that there's vision. I'm just pinging to see if we can detect with recent vision. Tarek and Jinx are still staying. The whole world in balance. And keep in silence. And another kill for us. I just wanted to kill him before his um his ult actually channeled. Would have just been a waste of time. All right, so we're almost level seven. Unfortunately, my ultimate was not ready there. Boots would have given me a shorter cooldown if I had boots in one component of Moonstone, but I think it's better for me to have Moonstone by now. But I I'm not supposed to be relying on 
the idea that I can save somebody. I'm supposed to be relying on getting my items up. And if I have a lot of gold to get Moonstone as soon as possible, I'm going to work on getting Moonstone as soon as possible. I'm thinking... We can go Moonstone and into Redemption. Oh, I got a Ruby Crystal, so now we have 14.52 health. Is that more than Tarek currently? Certainly more than Jinx. Tarek is 11.37. He has Tear. It looks like he's going Fimble Winter first. My Moonstone will definitely also amplify the damage of... Not the... Uh, the healing potency. Wow. The healing potency of my ultimate. So I can help out a teammate better on the map. There are a Q. I don't see anybody there. Ulting my Lee to keep him alive because I just saw him low. I'm on my way. But I do want to get mid control. Is there any way we can... I have Flash to try and save... Okay, we got his flash. Not bad. Okay. We take those. Akshan is chasing after my Ash. Oh, good flash. What is happening at my Zack? And why didn't Ash can walk back up? Because at that point, the um, are we feeding Akshan? Hello? An ally has been slain. Never oh, I'm a little baffled by that. Turret plating will soon fall. It's okay. At least we have our CDR shoes now. Uh, we did complete our support quest early, so we have more ability power and mana regen. Fortunately, our jungler is a little off in the head. I'll stay with the, I'll stay with Ash and play around her primarily, because trying to help out the Zack and the Lee Sin is actually gonna get me killed. I think. If I can keep her alive and keep her uh, heal boosted. We have a lot of heal and shield power currently. We have 10 at the moment. Your team has destroyed a turret. First tower acquired. Looks like our Urgot's doing really well as well. We need to be careful of how we're playing into this Akshan. Am I dead? I'm not even ulting because I'm just dead anyway. I should have walked around. Good shield on the uh, Lee's part. There's no way we're going to let this leave, let this uh, Akshan win this game. But the fact that we gave him eight kills for nothing is tremendously disgusting. Okay, Urgot gets a kill up there. That's good. If Echo goes and ganks him, we can make something out of it with our ultimate potentially. So Echo's bot side, actually. I their call. Mm, he's not able to be saved. We just need to fight with Urgot and Akshan. This is my path. 
Ergon and Ash. Wow. Excuse me. I was like, wait a second. A little something from Targa. They will know serenity. Unstoppable. Very nice. So all of our tier ones are down, mostly because of this pressure from Akshan bleeding into other sides. Every step, a new journey. Rash is level ten. She's gonna be waiting for the wave to push in. Totally fine. It's gonna block a path here. I can't ult the um the Lee. Like him alone being ulted is not gonna be helpful for our Ash later if we are to have the fight bleed into mid lane. I just need to give them health. That was a decent recovery there. But we're not respecting the the Akshan invis. The whole world in balance. Somehow a mid gap costs the game. We have to go in on that. He slowed too. He's stuck. Please give it to Ash. Yes, thank goodness. I'm gonna throw wards everywhere around here. Nice job, Lee. Do you guys need me over there? Throw a silence. Very nice crowd control. As long as I'm not targeted while I'm low HP, it should be okay. But there is a plant. Our first Drake. Which is an ocean drake. Four ocean drakes would be really nice. So that's 2%, so it be 8% missing health every 5 seconds recovered. I don't think you should be going for that Rift Herald alone. And I had to go back and get my wards and a component. Tarek there. We didn't need to have him start that. We could have waited for them to start it and then just jump on them. But now they're going to drop Rift Herald for tier 3. Jinx traps. Can we fight them? That was a really bad fight. Okay. The shutdown. 
Double kill for Urgot. I didn't get my ult or exhaust off, and I knew that since I was stunned, I wasn't going to get my ultimate off. So there's no point in me burning exhaust if I wasn't going to live there. I'd rather save it for another situation. Is that first strike Fiora? I would advise him not to run up and go for that. But I did keep him alive at least. Where am I needed? I advise against that too. Is that a kill? That is a kill. Holy moly. Alright. He did just jump into all of our team. He's ignited, not dead. Why do we not focus the auction? We have to slow down and fight with Urgot at objectives, no more than that. We like no chasing because they have Tarek to counter our engages. And they're all together and waiting for Akshan to come and clean up. I'm very close to my level 11, I'd like to keep to get this wave for it. We need to make sure they don't take Baron at all. They knew we were here. Is there any way that you can get this Fiora off me? No? I'm gonna need more health. Ooh, good shield. Hmm. I think Azonia's might be in order. Because if he's just gonna hyper focus me, I might as well just go stasis and then wait for my team to turn around on him. This is my path. Very nice shutdown, Lee. Very good aggression. Who's that? Fiora? Every step, a new journey. Okay, big heals. Although he is so much of a pain in the ass that he's survived all that damage. He has crown? Wait, that's AP Akshan? No wonder why he survived so long there. He outsmites me so easy. If he can get here. Just keep going, keep going. I'll give vision with my 
team should be healthy. Perfect. Big heals, big heals. Big crowd control. Urgot can handle the Fiora. We just need to go push into tier 3 now. Oh, you know that feeling when you know that the game's won? It's getting to that point and my heart's kind of feeling elated for that one. But the game's not over yet. Not until they surrender or the Nexus falls. I've been getting some good Q, so I'm going to keep maxing Q. Although Silence is really, really good. And the root duration, especially against Echo and uh, Akshan. I do have my ultimate in 30. I do have vision on them. That was a big Zonia. It wasn't even used on the intended target. Akshan's mid. Oh, he's must have. He must be done. He's just standing there. I can imagine though how frustrating it is. Okay, I said I was landing good cues, but I wasn't landing any recently. Here we go. And GG. Wow, okay. That Akshan almost ran that game down. But we came together and let the Urgot uh, and the Zac crowd control and follow up with our silence. Following up that, we had our silences to stop them as well. So our spacing, our crowd control, very, very big for that game. And I'm very happy that we were able to get that done. I'm going to give it to Urgot for staying cool, because he could have definitely tilted at some point from the bad game there. GG well played. Let's take a look at our healing. That was a very scary game to play, honestly. We had 24,000 healing, nearly 25. And we had a vision score of 66 versus the 42. Of, that's a big difference in vision score. Total healing, 33,000. 1,845 in Guardian Strength. We could have probably had a better game with Aerie, that, honestly, with poking. But I was afraid of the Echo running down um, early game, our lane, so that's why I picked up Guardian. Uh, second Wind, 870. Revitalized, 2,639. Honestly, I think it was just a matter of, of our team having just enough sustain later to prevent the Auction one-shots. Because he's going AP auction, which is more of a one-shot, not full auto-attack build. Um, I've seen it before uh, once. I think it was on Peek and Wolf stream. Not from him playing it, but I think someone else played it. It's weird. He still went 12, 6, and 5, which is a lot. Like, 34k damage is the most in the team, but he also had some really good picks during that game. So, we made it work. We had 8,866 gold as well from all the assists. 2, 5, and 19 was our ending score. So if you guys like that game, feel free to drop a like. Uh, follow if you are... Um, or subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Soraka and other support content. Um, to those of you that have been following the channel and noticed that I got in the D2 uh, last month, I'm sorry for the decline, but I'm hoping that uh, I'll, I'll pick things up. Uh, if you want to see more of my content in general, I do League of Legends, Final Fantasy XIV, and I'm trying to pick up other games for this channel to show off more support-like gameplay. 
So check me out at twitch.tv slash nazan underscore. The link is in the description below. And I shall see you for the next video or stream. Have a good one, everyone. Bye-bye.